Got another clip for you. In your career, you were lucky enough to be a part of some incredible films with the great <laughs> Burt Reynolds. So here's a short montage. And then I want to hear about Joe Hollywood, Joe Klecko's acting with Burt Reynolds. Take a look right here. Yeah. Talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Badge is crooked, sir. Much obliged. Who is that, Daddy? I don't know, but the circus must be in town. Joe Hollywood. So, Joe, I mean, I'm sure that, that brings up a lot of memories, right? Can you, can you share some Absolutely. of your favorite memories from being a part of those movies? One of the greatest memories being in them, of course, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the the way I got into them was funny. My wife and I were out one day and came home, and my mother was babysitting. And we came home somewhere around midnight, and she said, Joe, Burt Reynolds called. I said, what? She says, yeah, it's Burt Reynolds called. I said, did you recognize the voice, Mom? You know, who it was? She goes, no, the director's going to call you back tonight from Hollywood. And he said, they want you to be in a movie. I said, really? So Hal Needham called me that night and, uh, you know, offered me being Smoking the Bandit too. And after I went down there and met with Bert and all, Bert and I became pretty good friends. And, of course, I did Cannibal Run in uh, Heat after that. Oh, who won the race? My acting career, as far as my prowess, there was a guy named George Firth who was in the movie. George played a lot of bit parts. We had an acting school in New York. I went up to him after, and I said, George, how about you and I get together when we get back to New York? And he goes, uh, why, Joe? I says, well, you have an acting school I'd like to think about, you know, coming to it. He goes, he says, you're a really good football player, aren't you? I said, yeah, I guess. He goes, no, really good. I said, uh, am I getting an indication here? He goes, how about you stick with football? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I did, and it turned out better anyway. Yes. That is fantastic. So did you stay in touch over the years with Bert throughout, you know, since you did those films in the 80s? You stay in touch with him throughout the rest of yeah, his life? Yeah, when I would go to California and all, you know, he was doing evening shade and stuff. I'd go on a set with him, you know, and visit with him and go to his house and stuff. It was, it was pretty cool. You know, it was a sad thing when he left us. What a great guy. I mean, really, everything he did out there, he touched, turned to gold a little bit. So uh, what a great you know, uh, friendship we had. Watch for new movie reviews and documentary series. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell so you know when new reviews arrive.